Hello and welcome to Hitman. Today we'll be doing the Nutcracker Challenge. Um, I wanted to do this challenge in a way where it killed both of them with one set of coconuts. And I think that's possible, it's just not very easy to pull off. Because you have to get them lined up in a certain position at the exact right time. So we're going to go ahead and do it the easy way. Which also kills an innocent. Unfortunately, so no silent assassin for this video. Uh, maybe I'll figure out a different way to do it where I can get silent assassin, but at this point, this is as good as it gets. So, you want to use a medic poison right here? This is going to get Ken Morgan sick, and then he's going to run over to this uh, garbage can or waste basket or whatever. And the coconuts are right there, so it's a perfect setup. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, mm. lawyer and corporate fixer. Ooh, I'm having like a pain in my stomach. So there you go. He's eating the uh, emetic poison. Ah, crap. So next you want to get in position on these stairs here. This is the only position I've found where you won't be noticed with a gun. Just let this lady walk that way. She should be fine. There's the coconuts there. And there's the target. And there's your first kill. So now, there is another set of coconuts right there. I think that's the only ones. Oh, there's more here. Perhaps I could kill them here. Or perhaps not. Maybe that's just for contracts. Anyway, so we have to get them downstairs. And as far as I know, the only way to do that is to do the bug man. Uh, make sure the area is clear here. Okay, she shouldn't be an issue. Just run around her here. And uh, I, when I did this, I noticed when I was in here, I was waiting right in the doorway. And then a guard came through here dragging Ken's body. So you want to make sure you're hidden from that. There he is there. Go ahead and hide right here. This should be good. Because he'll come through that door and then go down those stairs. So Should be fine here. But if he does catch you, just go ahead and knock him out. Throw him in that uh, um, closet there. Because Silent Assassin using this method is impossible. So... Not a big deal if that happens. It's going to be interesting in the future when AI gets so impressive that this guy would notice this door keep opening and be like, what the hell? <laughs> it's already very very good and very improved from the past but it still has a long way to go to be you know close to real and I look forward to seeing that in my lifetime yeah they should be heading over now Mm. 
And you know what, seeing as it doesn't matter because we can't get Silent Assassin, I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, without waiting for him to leave the room. Uh, no. Help! I need help! Oh, that kind of glitched out on me. I could have possibly actually gotten him there without uh, being compromised if I was quick enough, but not a big deal. That guy is an interesting voice for that type of character. It doesn't sound like that would match up, but you know, that's the way the voice acting in this game is. Um, the targets don't even have like full uh, lines. A lot of them are recycled. Like when you get, they get sick or you bump. Next we have to talk to the hotel manager. Um, where is this lady? There you are. Ma'am, I'd like to inspect the penthouse now. Very well, I'll make the call. But, I'm warning you, no slip-ups. Especially not with young Master Cross on his way down. If any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, you could gas the whole atrium. Understood, ma'am. Yes, hello, this is the manager. I am so sorry to disturb... Oh, indeed, yes, the pest exterminator. Uh, he needs to inspect the Emperor's suite now. Could I possibly ask you and your team to... Oh, excellent, thank you. Please join us in the atrium for refreshments. I promise it won't take long. Okay, bye, thank you. They're vacating the suite. Be quick about it. If one of those guys, like from the horror movies that always warns people, just went up to jo Jordan right now and was like, Don't go downstairs, coconuts will kill you. He would think that guy was just insane. I mean, who wouldn't, right? But, that is his fate. I think that's actually, that's actually happened before. People died from falling coconuts. Because, you know, they're quite heavy. And those trees can be quite high. So, they'll be coming down. You'll take a minute. Kill them all, man. Let God sort them out. So I think we're good to switch back to our um, absolution suit. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh. Now, coconuts are here. And if you look on the mini-map there, there's that uh, hotel um, sta staff guy, Butler. He is the collateral damage. Um, not sure if there's a way to get him out of there, but I'm not too concerned about it. So, right as Jordan walks up next to that guy, you're going to want to go ahead and shoot. So, you'll see the white dot on the uh, mini-map there, just in between the opening. Soon as Jordan walks into that area, go ahead and shoot. And that should take out both of them and give you your nutcracker. That is Jordan Cross. Revered and reviled in equal measures. And it doesn't seem like they can notice you through the glass, so I think you're safe there, too. Alright. Get into position here. That should do it. Then just wait for the target to move into position. Shouldn't take too long. And booyah. There you have it. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Okay. 
I did it before, so it didn't pop up, but uh, it should pop up here at the end. There it is. So yeah, I'm sorry it wasn't... Uh... Huh, I wasn't spotted. Interesting. Oh, I guess... It appears that's not an accident kill. So if... If they die by coconut, unless it's referring to the innocent person. Yeah, so I didn't even notice if it said accident kill or not. I'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, we weren't spotted by the, uh, the bug man. Cool. So, that's a relatively good score. I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.